Hi, Paul Hefty here with the Triangle O football system. I want to go over our Spread Eagle series. This is a four wide receiver offensive package with 10 personnel. Let's take a look. So what we're trying to do here is put our best personnel on the field, if that's the case with your program and your receiver core. It also spreads the defense. We can still use our core concepts, both RPOs and pass partners, and obviously create some great mismatches for the defense. What we're doing is 10 personnel. We're going to take the H back and replace them with a fourth wide receiver, uh, what we call Eagle then, personnel's grouping. We use the same formations, but obviously spread sets. And how we're going to do this, as always, we'll just chunk everything together. So it's nothing new for us, but obviously creates some problems for the defense. So here's a visual of it. This is a two by two with the Eagle series. You can see we're going to sub the H out with an S receiver towards the top of the picture. Um, the second thing is, is you just simply use the Eagle signal with both arms out to the side or the verbal and the sub happens. And then third, we'll use signals for both personnel and formations so that it keeps the verbiage very simple. You can see now we can run this both ways because essentially we've got two slot receivers to each side. So again, here's the two by two. And then here's spread trio, right? Three by one. So first let's look at a couple core RPOs that we can run with quarterbacks that aren't necessarily dual threat running quarterbacks. First one, again, I like to go outside in, so we look at our stretcher outside, outside zone. Going to the left, so you can see here, if it comes towards the S, he'll go ahead and block, and then everything's exactly the same as we would do with our H-back package, with our Mickey post-snap read to the, to the right, and then we've got the pray for post to the play side. Next, we can go pin and pull. This is from a 34 defense. You can see now the uncovered line being both the guards get to be the pullers. The RPO routes and the reads are exactly the same as outside zone. Great complement to outside zone and pin and pull sweep then is what we call mid zone RPO. You can see we're gonna first do a double glance route where we've got the X and the Z running glances and both the S and the A do what we call stab bubbles. They're gonna take two steps forward again to threaten cover four safeties and then back pedal into the bubble the line's going to still run block this like outside zone stretch but the play side tackle and guard now are going to drive that defensive tackle where he wants to go back will take the same five steps so it looks like stretch outside zone but then his point of attack is the inside leg of the tackle and we're looking to bend this back against the defense quarterback now reads the sam strong side and we've got the backside for free access another inside rpo with a quarterback that necessarily isn't a dual threat running quarterback is to use a slip zone inside zone we're going to have the s or the a to the play side do glide motion from its wide alignment into a wing then we're just going to simply run our inside zone and we'll go ahead and triple option read this, but we're going to go give, reading the defensive end, to now throw the slip screen to the S in this case, slip arrow, and then last, if that's covered, then the quarterback runs. If you do have a dual threat quarterback, um, then we simply do our slice inside zone. Again, we're going to go ahead and to the play side run our slide and go for free access. If we have it, we take it. If not, then we're gonna go ahead and run slice zone. We'll read the defensive end for a give, then quarterback keep to bubble with the A receiver. We can start to do some, what I call backdoor series plays. These are just counter action with our core RPOs. So now we're gonna go stretch again outside zone, but we're gonna do what we call a bill call to it means the back now is gonna do three steps counter dart action. Um, and then we'll do a peak route to the backside now, which has got the S now running a bender and the X with a looky. 
We can do our backdoor counter action with our pin and pull sweep also. Again, back does the three-step dart action. Everything's the same up front, and we go to a peak route on the backside with our receivers. Last, if you're a power RPO run scheme team, you can do this with our backdoor concept. Again, back will use the three-step dart action. We're going to do classic power, and Bill also tells those tackles big on big. Now we're going to get the peak or pop routes on both sides. If the quarterback feels he has free access strong side, he'll read the Sam and go with it. If not, then we're going to post snap read the will with the peak route with the S and the X. Here is power again, but against the 34 defense. Again, a great concept against odd looks. We're going to go ahead and pre-snap if we have free access, read the SAM. If not, we'll read the will backside. You can see now we've got a very simple way to just use our core RPOs, but get our best personnel on the field if that happens to be four wideouts and really stretch the defense using that Eagle package series. Thanks.